Hey there, tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Prime Coding. In today's video, we'll solve a September 6 Accenture on campus coding problems. This question was shared to us through a candidate recently appeared in their assessment on campus trial. So, without wasting time, there's a small request for you all, which is do share your interview experience and coding questions of recent trends so that we can help your juniors or peers to prepare for their online assessments. So, you can reach out to us either on Telegram, WhatsApp, Instagram, eBay, and in my LinkedIn ID. All the links you can find in the description. Just head over in the description and find all the given links there. Let's look over the very first problem statement, which is even odd. This question is very easy, guys. Jack has an array A of length n and he wants to label whether the number in the array is even or odd. Okay, very easy question. So your task is to help him find and return a string with labels even or odd in sequence. It is not that you need to let and uh, let us know whether the particular number is even or odd, but you need to label them. And how? Let me tell you. According to which the numbers appear in the array. Input specification. So input one would be an array integer representing the numbers, then the length of the array, and similarly like this. So you can find the screenshot of the problem here so that the specification has been mentioned like this question came recently in the OS. Now, how you can do it is, let's say you will get an array like 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? And what you need to do is, let's say if it is 1, so you need to print odd here. So let's say if it is even, or let's say 2 is even. So with space, you need to print even. Similarly, odd. Then if 4 is even, so you need to put even. So you just need to print, instead of number, you need to print whether it's an even or odd. That's it. This is the particular structure of this program. And I know most of the people might solve this question right away. So let's discuss the Python code for this. Creating a label even function where I took the array size, took array like any user input, then calling up the function and print, printing as I, as I found the particular number is even or odd. Okay, so time complexity will remain O of n, okay, because we are traversing throughout the array and space complexity will remain 1 if you ignore the given input because this is demanded by the question. So yes, so this is the particular program that you need to do and all the C++, Java, Python code you can find in the description, there is a GitHub link uploaded, all the codes are there, you can refer any one of them for both of the problems. So similarly, the C++ code as well, as these questions are very easy, will not spare much time on it. So Shandip, Shubham, Adesh, Varun, these are the people who recently cracked Essential, TCS, NQT, Digital Profile, Prime Profile and much more. So you can be the next, you just need to book one-to-one -one mock session with us where you will get an one hour of in detail session of technical as well as the HR, the comprehensive session. Then your resume review, what all defects do you do you have in your resume? Everything would be told to you. And the personalized feedback depends upon the mock session experience or where you are lagging, which all stuff that you need to improve and much more. And suggestion for future improvement, all the roadmap, doubt solving, guidance, support, everything you require to crack this particular opportunity, I will help you out. For that, you just need to head over to primecoding.in you will get a prime uh, essential uh, card there just need to book the session and we will meet you and convert your interview opportunity to an offer letter so let's start with the second problem so you can see the second problem screenshot so let me show you a proper in a proper manner so yeah you are given an array and an integer k where is a non-negative integer okay your task is to rotate the array to the right by k step okay so you need to rotate the numbers from the right okay now write a program that takes an array of integers and the number of elements in the array and the integer and integer as input and rotates the array to the right by k step Okay, so what I mean to say here is, let's say you have an n as an input, which is the size of the array, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the k is given to you as 3. So if you rotate everything from the right side towards the left side, you will end up getting this stuff. So Aditya, how we can solve this? So this question is repeated in TCS and QT as well, and the essential coding sheet 
sheet also contain the same problem you can head over to this video the playlist link is in the description just head on to the playlist you can see this thumbnail where i mentioned about the coding sheet which is filled with all type of pattern based questions and this question came from this sheet only so how you can approach this particular problem so approaching this question has many multiple approaches so what approaches that you need to use is let's see i will let you know two approach which basically people prefer to do that okay so first would be let's say i have one two three four five six seven so first step what i will do is because i need to replace i need to rotate my three last element towards the left side so how i will do it in a short span is i will do the very first step which using the reverse function so what i will do is i will reverse the first chunk of it this much so this much so how i can do it is i will reverse i will reverse the first chunk from 0 to n whatever size we have minus the k and whatever steps we need so till here we'll get a subset or, or a sub array of an array i will reverse it now after doing this what i will get i will get it as 4 3 2 1 and it will remain same as 5 6 7 okay now second step what i will do is i will reverse this array again so in this program they specially given a note where they stated that you don't need to use any external space and from the candidate as well if you wrote a program which takes of n square time and of n space then you might suck so this is the approach that you need to do and another approach i will also let you know so yeah 4 3 2 1 you reverse the first thing from 0 to n minus k index then what you need to do is now you need to reverse this so now how so you just need to reverse again and for in the criteria what you need to write which is n minus k place till where the n okay you need to reverse it again now what will happen here is your error will become 4 3 2 1 and becomes 7 6 5 now what the third step you need to do is reverse the whole array reverse the whole array i will not write the range because we need to reverse it from 0 to n okay so now your array will become 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 do you think we got the same thing that we were looking for yes guys so this is approach which takes o of 3n times because we are not typically 3n but we can say overall it is taking 3n because we are just putting or reversing some chunks some chunks then full name thing so basically your total and overall because we will not consider the constant part in this particular time complexity calculation so you end up getting o of n as a time complexity and space will remain constant so this approach you can use this is a very easy approach just before doing this you need to take care is your k should be optimized okay so let's say let's say the, the here we have three okay so we have total how many total number of um array elements we have currently we have seven okay so if i tell you uh, you need to rotate every element with the k as seven steps so what happened is you need to do same task for seven times it is not like that okay because if you do seven mod seven you will get it as zero which means you don't need to do anything because if you shift every element from right to left seven times you will end up getting the same array so using modulus will help you to decrease the step okay let's say if it is eight times let's say the k is given as eight times which means you need to shift every element from right side towards left side eight times so if you do the modulus it will indirectly give you as one step only one time you need to do because if you shift every element to the left side seven times you will end up getting the same array as the input array now if the next thing that you will do would be the eighth step okay with the eighth iteration okay so in this thing that you should keep into mind just optimize your k like this optimize it to be using a modulus operator then perform this task and you are good to go okay now what i will discuss here is the another approach which will be i will create a temp array okay now you will say Adita, you told us to not use any space i will let you know we'll delete this space we are not requiring this space this is just a temporary space that we require to solve this question in a very optimal manner in a very optimal manner how i will let you know so i will mark this as indexes okay and and firstly i will fill each and every cell with zero so that i can put everything at a place okay so i assume this all array is filled with zeros okay now what i have as an input one two three four five six seven we have as an input so let me create an array of it so that we can visualize everything very very clearly so zero one two three four five and six 
okay now what step i need to do is again we need to use a technique of modulus here so what it means it will indirectly help me to place the nums let's say this is an array a it will help me to place each and every array elements to the k step i will show you how so k is given to here is 3 okay so what i will do is i will create a function which will do as so okay at temp i need to i need to fill my current array let's say i am here like nums of i or a of i okay a of i we have so i need to put one one to the third place okay its respective place is third in the temp array because you need to fill five six seven here so one should be here so how you can append your one using the modulus operator so i whatever i that you are currently on let's say we are currently the i value is zero i plus okay k number of steps that you want to do modulus n which will keep me in the bound of the length of the array and last thing that you need to do is whatever element that you need to put in so okay at this place i need to put this element so array of i as i said array of i value is zero and i value as i told it is zero and how many steps i need i need three steps so if you modulo it by n you will get it as three mod seven which will be three okay so at third place you will put your one so that the thing that you want okay similarly if my i value becomes one if my i, I value becomes one which means i am targeting two now so what happened here is one plus 3 1 plus 1 plus 3 will give me 4 and 4 mod 7 will give me 4 so yeah second will be gone here similarly if you dry run this again and again at i value 2 3 so till 3 like 3 plus 3 is 6 so yeah 4 will come here 3 will come here now if i say let's say at 3 now your i becomes 4 now if your i becomes 4 which means this 5 element where you can put this now so 4 plus 3 is 7 4 plus 3 is 7 and you know 7 mod 7 is 0 and you will end up placing your 5 to the very first location that you want to okay and in the last what you need to do is you need to equivalent let's say this is an a whatever input it has just replace all a values with them and free your temp which will not take the space okay it's just a temporary space you require to do that code and this code has been submitted by multiple students because the time complexity was the barrier there i told you two approach and both of the approach definitely work in your essential compiler so let's check out the code of it which will give you a more intuitive vision towards this code so def rotate array which is nums of k okay and equivalent to len of nums where you are targeting or fetching out the uh, size of the array now temp has been initialized with all value 0 till 7th places now for i in range you are doing the same task again i plus k mod n which will give you the respective place after k iteration or after k steps now place the num of nums of i value there same thing i'm doing and the size i took the nums input i took the k steps that i need to which i took then rotated array and printing it in a space separated manner as question stated us so now what would be the time complexity and the space complexity of this program so time complexity would be o of n because you are iterating throughout the array and it is only taking actually o of n not o of 3n if you compare to the previous approach which is somehow has been more efficient than the previous approach and space complexity is o of n you can say but we are okay we are returning temp here but if you see in other codes let's say in c++ code you can see we are replacing the stuff okay nums is equivalent to temp now which itself means we free up the temps memory space what we occupied all the nums value has been re initialized here and thing i'm re uh, returning in this function so it will not take any space okay so indirectly you are removing the space so yeah you can see this approach as well this is a very similar approach as we discussed in python and the java code as well you can find this programs in the description you can find a github link just head over to that and you will get all these program in three of the languages okay and now same thing everything has been written the time complexity space complexity will remain same now if you want to prepare for your tcs nqt exam essential exam or your camp gemini cognizant or tcs nqt 2025 batch if you want to appear 
everything you can find on this channel all these links are in the description you can find the coding sheet because the coding sheet is tremendous guys the questions are coming from it and you definitely ace your on-campus placement hiring so if you are watching till now i appreciate liking this video and if you have not subscribed yet please 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 do consider subscribing it and share with your friends so that they can also do something in their career so Please let us know if you have some interview questions and coding questions that you want to share and help your peers and juniors. We will be the very first person to create a video on it and help your juniors and peers. So we'll meet you with a new video soon. Thanks for watching.